corn. I could see ranch flavored dip tobacco being one of Longhorn's flavor. That that is just wrong and nasty in so many levels. Ugh. And you gotta think, who would buy this? Like, what consumer would buy these types of dip? Because I wouldn't. I sure as hell would never be one to buy these. KY, you are just nasty, dude. KY, there is something wrong with you, bro. Yeah, I don't know either, Rahu. I, honestly, that's kind of questionable. That's really questionable. Considering the fact that mayonnaise would have to be refrigerated and cheese kind of would have to be refrigerated so would I have to refrigerate my dip that is the bigger question would it require me to do it it sounds like I would oh shit even my water in here tastes like Freaking mint. Yikes. Okay, well, I love how you have a lot of ideas. But a lot of your ideas for dip tobacco does not sound appeasing to me. Come up with something better. I mean, please do. I think they already have that. That sounds a little bit better. Way better than the other ideas you had. Holy shit. Yeah, I'd be okay with that one. I just don't know about all the other ones you've been saying. All the other ones, I kind of would have a little bit of worry. Barbecue flavor dip. Isn't that um, dark or straight dip? Kind of cured? Oh. You would think they would already have that, dude. I think they already got that, my dude. Seriously, KY, where you come up with this shit, bro? Rahul, help me here, bro. The fuck are we doing? What are we doing with our lives anymore? Pig Mac sauce dip? Yeah. I, I, I seriously, honestly don't know what is wrong with you. All right, Brian. Yes, he is a wild one. Oh, my gosh. KY. KY. 
My dude, you need to chill, bro. Ugh. Some of the flavors, I, I wouldn't even want to try, dude. I, I'm kind of afraid to even think about trying these. I'm really afraid of trying any of those flavored dips. I, I would have probably no problem with the chocolate. Or maybe something that tastes a little bit like eggnog and cinnamon. But... Mm, I don't know. Oh, Skittle flavored dip. Uh, I have to think about that one. I mean, that would probably be a Skull product, if you think about it. That would probably definitely be a Skull product. Very little to zero nicotine nor tobacco content in it. So, that probably would be something Skull would... You could probably do that with Skull, actually. You know how you do it? You add all the flavors of Skull. <laughs> I mean, all the... Fruity flavored skulls together. Then it'd probably be like Skittles, but the worst version of Skittles. I think that's how you would get it. Oh, Brian, dude. You too, Brian. Well, my only concern, Brian, would be I would hope to God the pussy flavored dip. Does not taste like nasty pussy. Moonshine flavored dip? There you go. That's a little bit better. I'd probably handle that. I thought... Um, Longhorn did it. I thought Longhorn did that, Moonshine. <laughs> Yeah, it has to be good. Because I don't want to be dipping on no Nancy pussy dip. Yeah. Can you imagine having that shit taste like freaking 90-year-old unwashed poutine? Ugh. My, my dip tastes like 90-year-old poutine. I don't even want to know how that would go. I don't even think I... No, I don't even think I want to know how, how far somebody would take that poutine dip. Corn flavored dip. Hmm. That would be very intriguing. Honestly, that probably would be very intriguing. Just thinking about it. I just don't know how that would work. And you guys are nuts. And we're coming up with some random flavors. Mackerel dip. Hey. You guys are nuts. I love you guys, though. They do. They have one uh, outlaw. Ugh. Mellow yellow, which is supposed to taste like Mountain Dew, I think. Ramblin' root beer is supposed to taste like root beer, of course. So I, I, I think Outlaw does have some, but... Uh, coleslaw and grape popsicle. Ah, you guys. You guys are just weird. Oh, 
What the fuck is wrong with you people? No, don't tell me what's wrong with you people. Please don't, by all means. Anything and everything, deer flavored dip. I don't know, man. I, honestly, you got to think about the consumers, though. Who would buy this? Honestly, who would buy half of the shit you guys are mentioning here? Right, wintergreen. I'm probably just going to stick with my wintergreen at this point. I'm going to be a lot safer with that one. I wouldn't possibly end up getting sick. Or end up dead with some random flavors that I don't even think would be healthy. Fried pickles. Again, KY, are you thinking about the consumers? Are you thinking about who would buy these? Honestly. Because if you're not thinking about who would buy this, then... That's your problem. Because I wouldn't buy half of them. Except for the wintergreen. And maybe the great... Great popsicle actually would probably be a very good idea. That I might be okay with. Beer flavored dip. Ooh, they have bourbon. They do have bourbon. Beer flavored dip tobacco. Hmm. That would be an interesting one. Orange flavor, that would be another probably good one, but I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I really wouldn't know about that one because... You know, the problem is you would have to get that orange flavor just right, just to that peak, to where it it would have a perfect, like, orange-flavored presence in that dip to make it worthwhile. And it can't just be, like, half-ass orange-flavored dip. You, you have to really think about this. Um, Outlaw had the bourbon one. I don't know if he has it anymore. I'm, I'm just saying. But Outlaw has it, I think. <sighs> Coffee flavored dip. They already have that, dude. They already have that, my bro. There I have that. They they already got it in like the uh, uh, grinds. I think they call it that. Something like that. I know they already have one. But I'm I'm sure that probably f coffee flavored dip tobacco probably wouldn't be really good. I I wouldn't think that would work. It is, but they have one, but it's not like in the regular. Yeah, I know what you mean, K White. I just don't know how that would work. I mean, it it would sound good, yes, but they already have it, though. But not in, like, regular dip tobacco. I just don't know how it would work in regular flavor. Mm, 
and sweet and sour dip? No. No, that I wouldn't probably buy. That would be a little bit nasty. Honestly, that would be really nasty. I don't know how many consumers you would really get out of that one. Caramel dip? Um, maybe like if you did like a coffee with a little bit of caramel? Maybe. 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 You would have to blend it. I, I think coffee with a little bit of the caramel would work for sure. But at the same time, thinking about the consumers there. How many consumers would buy that? And no, I'm not even going to go into that one with you, KY, because I already know where that one was going. You're thinking of Chinese food. Oh. And that's sad. But coffee, like a coffee and a little bit of caramel. Caramel dip, maybe. Or are you talking like uh, menthol cigarettes? Yeah, menthol. Uh, you mean dip? Spearmint? Yes, Skull makes them. But not chaw. Or chew. There's a difference between chew and dip. But for dip, yes, Spearmint does make that. Spearmint is not spearmint, sorry. Skull makes spearmint dip, but it's not really that good. I would go with, if you want like something like spearmint, go Copenhagen Mint. Just go Copenhagen Mint. If you really want that minty flavor, Copenhagen. Because Copenhagen does have better flavor, I think, in my own opinion mint flavored compared to skull it's way better way long lasting and it's pretty good it actually gives you what you're looking for skull in my again in my opinion i wouldn't really recommend skull spearmint just that's me if you really want to try it i mean go for it but I wouldn't, because honestly, skull freaking dried up, dude. Skull is way too damn dried up. Skull is way too dried up. If you want something like um, mint, definitely. Copenhagen's a way better. Grizzly kind of has that mint flavor it does but it's just dry as hell just like skull i don't know why they have it dry as hell i wish they didn't i i really wish they did and and it sucks that they they have it that dry if they weren't that dry i'd probably be okay with it and the fact that Skull isn't really that good to me, I really don't, I'm not a big fan of Skull at all. I, I will say that Skull is an okay dip. It's an okay dip for beginners or people that really don't want to get too addicted to it. If you really just 
want to have that spearmint flavor, mint flavor, then sure, Skull definitely will work for you. But you're, you're kind of getting what you pay for at this point. You're, you're paying for a very weak dip that isn't going to give you much. And it's not going to really do you any good. You're not going to get buzzed off of it. You're not going to get much nicotine. But if you're looking for something more with a little bit more nicotine, a little bit more tobacco, Copenhagen, for sure. I would say Copenhagen, definitely. Um, Grizzly? I would say if Grizzly was a little bit moist like Copenhagen, it would be perfect because Grizzly Mint does give you a buzz. It does have that minty flavor, but it's just dry as shit. It's drier than the Arizona desert, and it's really freaking sad. Ugh. So, if you want something better, go Copenhagen. I mean, for me, it's just, I prefer it because you get a good pack of belly, you get a good pinch of belly, you get the best dip that has the mint flavor that is, to me, long-lasting. And it has a good after flavor. That's another thing <sighs> that I like about the mint is after you take it out, it, it's still there. That that mint will be there for a while. So that's just me personally, but it's really up to you guys and how you guys feel about it. I just don't know how everyone else feels about it because I know that uh, Stoker's does mint, and I've heard Stoker's mint is pretty good. I just never tried it. Right? Who have you ever tried Stoker's mint, bro? I never really tried Stoker's mint. I wanted to try that. I've always wanted to try Stoker's Mint. I just never got to it. I've tried Stoker's Wintergreen. How long did the flavor last for you? How long was the flavor lasting time? Was it longer than um, Copenhagen and Grizzly or less? Yeah, I would think it would be kind of less, somewhat less. But I could be wrong again. Less than Copenhagen? Yeah, that's what I figured. <sighs> that's why I like Copenhagen Mint, because it does last a little bit longer. And the after, the after flavor is very good, too. It's not, um, what am I thinking? It's not bad after flavor. The after flavor doesn't taste like crap. It actually still tastes like that mint that you just had in your mouth. That mint flavor is still there, and it lasts a little bit. And it's okay if you like it, but some people don't like the after flavor. I was okay with it. I've been pretty good with it so far. I think, surprisingly, I will have to say Copenhagen Mint does kind of take first place compared to a lot of other mints. But then again, people have their own preference. <sighs> but it is what it is. I'm not going to bitch about it. 
I just, to me, I feel like I've had Copenhagen Mint enough times to know what I like about it and somewhat what I don't like about it. But I do need to try Stoker's Mint so I, I can kind of get a good comparison. And then I need to do uh, Skull Spearmint. That was another one I need to do. Skull Spearmint, Stoker's Mint. I've already had Copenhagen Mint. So if I can get to those few other mint dips, then I could probably do like a video and compare them and say, hey, this is what I like and don't like about each one and what each one has and doesn't have for good flavor. 